Hi, I'm Steve from Yokogawa Support. Welcome to another Exaquantum training video. In this video, we will look at the basics of using Exaquantum calculation tags. A calculation tag is a tag that has a Visual Basic script that references one or more other Exaquantum tags. These reference tags may be OPC tags, manual tags, or other calculations. So let's create a basic calculation. Firstly, we need to open Admin Tools and click on the Tag Editor. To create a new tag, we expand the tree and then right click and choose Add. And in this case, we're creating a calculated tag. So we click OK. And we need to provide a name and optionally a description and choose which tag template we're going to use. So I'm going to call this test one. I won't bother with a description. And I only have one tag template for calculations, so I'm going to use that. That's a floating point template. So to define the calculation, I need to click on the expression button, which will open the expression editor. This is the screen where we will compose our calculation. The upper pane, we can write our VB code. And in the lower pane, we can actually access mini data selector so that we can drag the tags we're going to reference into the upper pane. There's already a small block of code in the upper pane that just says result equals 1. And the variable result is the thing we're interested in because that's the variable that sets the value of the calculation. We can create a very simple calculation by just setting the result variable to the value of another tag. So I can go and find a tag and just drag it into the upper pane. And that will then put the tag's full path in square brackets. So although this is a very simple example, this is actually a valid calculation. Now before we can OK the expression, we have to test it. So we click the Test Expression button. And this will bring us the Expression Tester. Now in here we can see any tags that we're referencing and we can set a value. So if we set the value here as being 6 and then click test, we can see the result of the calculation will be 6. It's a straight copy of the value in that tag. But this proves that the calculation is valid, the expression status is OK. So we can just click OK at that point. We can click OK again and finally click apply and that creates a new calculation tag and all that tag is going to do is going to mirror the tag that I used so every time this tag 1FIC1103.pv whatever value that has when that changes the value of the calculation will change too So we can see the value changed and we can see the timestamp. And if we go to our calculation, we see that that's also changed. So this is a simple, the most simple type of calculation you can have, but it's not really very useful. So now let's create another rather more functional calculation. We can use a calculation tag. Let's assume that our source tag is a temperature in degrees Celsius and we need the calculation to give us the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So let's create a new calculation. We'll call this one test two. And we can expand the expression editor give us more screen real estate. 
So we'll start off by creating a variable. And we call that C temp for the Celsius temperature. So next we set that to have the value of our OPC tag that we're going to convert. And we'll just pick another one of these OPC tags that's updating. So next, we'll multiply C temp by 9 and then divide by 5 and then add 32 to get the Fahrenheit value. So I've included all the stages just so that it's more obvious what's been done. So C temp will now actually be holding the converted temperature. So I can set the result of the calculation to C temp. So now if I test the expression and we'll use some values that we know the equivalent value in Fahrenheit. So if I set the value to zero and test the value shows us 32, which is correct. And if I set the value to 100 and test, the result is 212, which is correct. So our calculation is functional. There are no errors in the expression execution status, so there are no script errors. So we can OK that and apply that calculation. And so now we have a tag which is going to calculate a temperature in Fahrenheit when it's fed in a temperature in Celsius. So that's a very simple example with a very simple VB script. In subsequent videos we'll go into more of the facilities, the VB script facilities that are available in calculations. That's all for this video, so thank you for watching.